hey good morning everyone this is another session on palmistry and in this video we will continue the analysis of the fish symbol and the k2 mount and the other things in our hand now the fish symbol as we know is a sign of you know great progress it's a sign of evolvement growth etc and so on and so forth but we need to understand it in in a much more detail so first I will quickly give a snapshot of the story around the fish symbol and the fish avatar. Second, I will discuss why fish has two faces. Third, I will talk about the astrological significance. Fourth, what does it impl imply for you personally if you have this symbol and what sort of events and at what age they can happen. So these are the four things that I will be covering in this video. So stay tuned. Now first, fish or the Vishnu avatar, I'll quickly tell you the story. The story goes like this, the world was coming to a destruction. So Vishnu uh, told Brahma and Brahma told Vishnu basically to go and save the world. And that's where Vishnu took the form of a fish or a Matsya. Uh, Matsya is a Hindi word meaning fish and uh, traveled long, uh, traveled to one of his devotee and basically then they both uh, fought and got the Vedic scriptures from high grip and then moved all these scriptures to a safer place and preserved it and then the world went through floods and there was a complete destruction that happened. So this is the whole story around the fish or fish symbol and this will have a lot to do with you but we'll come to it one by one. So this is the story how it goes also the guidance was given through seven rishis that is very important to understand as well and ketu is also represented by number seven and ketu is also represented by the fish symbol so this is the connections that are there from the story okay now second why does ketu have two faces or two heads at times so you will see whenever you see the fish symbol it has like two heads for example, I can just extend this this way, right? Uh, for example, and form like this, okay? Uh, just give me a second. Yeah, so sometimes you'll find the fish symbol like this, okay? So, you know, you will find like it has two heads or it can be in different formation one for example pointing somewhere like this and the other head pointing in some other direction for example in this case it is jupiter so you'll find head like this also with the fish symbol in the hand now this is again my analysis and my interpretation so as you would remember in the story the fish was Vishnu basically. So it was being driven by Vishnu or the fish itself was Vishnu and it had a driver on it which was his devotee or the king and that represents the other head. So basically the two head depicts the two people. One is Vishnu and his devotee. So hence it also, you know, it has a very important spiritual significance because it talks about how the union of a guru and his disciple can save the world, right? The disciple or the follower quickly, you know, takes the help of Vishnu and helps save all the ancient texts. So that's where my interpretation is. That's why, uh, you know, fish symbol always comes with two heads. Now, we'll go to the third part okay so another important aspect of the fish symbol is that what is how is it connected uh, or how it is connected astrologically astrologically if we think fish symbol or is very closely related to pisces and pisces also has two fishes in it right if you see the sign of pisces it is also re reflected as the 12th house all in all if i have to summarize it or you know basically shorten it or uh, make it very very crisp i would say it indicates liberation so 
more or less it's uh, a moksha 12th house it's related to the 12th house and it is related to the moksha now ketu or the fish symbol is also re, uh, a representative of the past ketu is always a planet which represents our past good deeds and hence you know uh, using those past good deeds we will be able to get moksha so it means the involvement of the ninth house will also be there either the 12th house might be having an aspect on the ninth house or ninth house might be looking at the 12th house so this is the astrological uh, correlation that we can clearly think of why ninth house basically means freedom uh, ninth house basically means that you have earned a lot of positive deeds from the past life which is also represented by k2 and hence you will have a prosperous life but as it is aspecting the 12th house those past deeds will be used to help you move towards the 12th house so your direction will move from the all your ninth house all your positive good deeds will be used for the 12th house right so it can mean as simple as let maybe all your blessings will be used to help you go near moksha or what else does 12th house represents it indicates intuition so all your past life's blessings will be used to enhance your intuition what else does 12th house represent 12th house represents also a high state of meditation so again the 9th house or the blessings will teach you that so it's important to understand that astrologically the signs that are important are Sagitt uh, sagittarius sorry pisces because that's the 12th house sign the 12th house right planets involving the 12th house and the 12th house sign and also ketu also astrologically it represents the ninth house to a good extent because uh, basically the fish symbol represents that you will succeed in your life because of your past life positive karmas so that is what it means hopefully you got this point as well but again of course we can go into much more detailing but largely speaking this is how it is and then the fourth and the most important part what does it imply in your current life i will go one by one point number one fish k2 12th house all indicates dematerialization destruction right it means that you will be a person who will go through a lot of destruction destruction of the ego destruction of all the negative habits that you have destruction of your all material attachment and this is a good form of destruction but it will be painful or it can be painful right so whenever you have the fish symbol personally it will mean that you will get destructed from all your attachments you will get destructed from all your material possessions it can happen by through events like certain events like fights or certain situations can make you dematerialize or it might be an internal uh, you know awakening that can happen it depends if a planet like saturn gets involved with 12th house the process can be painful but if jupiter and ketu gets involved in 12th the process might become a bit more easier but largely speaking destruction of your older self will happen uh, it's like you know how a snake completely transforms and gets a new skin something like that sort of a transformation will happen and you will go through a destruction phase point number one point number two your surroundings will not be very very good meaning to say that you might have enemies because 12th house represents hidden enemies you might have toxic people you might have toxic atmosphere anyways we are going through kalyu now how do you go through your destruction that is you know anyways you are surrounded with people who are material by nature and in that environment you have to dematerialize and you have to stick to your purer form this is the second lesson that you will have to learn and it will be a very difficult lesson because you are surrounded by so whenever 12th house is there you are surrounded by negative entities you are surrounded by negative people 
but how you remain pure and sane that is very very important point number 3 12th house is a house of surrenderance and you also know the story of seven rishis so it literally means when you are going through this you know process of destruction you have to trust the higher powers the seven gurus and also you have to trust your inner instinct this will act as a guiding force for you otherwise you will remain directionless the next most important point is mind and logic will have no use at all because 12th house means complete destruction of the mind in some way as well meaning to say the logical or uh, you know that way of thinking will go away you have to stick to your instincts and at times this can be astrologically checked as well uh, it can indicate that mind might be or moon might be in a debilitated state or you through your mother you might also understand moksha or higher learning so these are some of the things which you also have to keep in mind and these are the personal transformations or the personal journeys that you might go through the timing of fish can be also elaborated if it is on the mount of ketu and if it is pointing upwards it can happen any time post mid 30s the positive changes can happen if it is on let's say jupiter the process can be a bit faster if it is on saturn it can be a bit slower so it depends on which place the fish is and what the nature of the planet is that's how the uh, you know uh, basically the um, positive aspects of fish will come but again this is not certain this is completely my hypothesis also the two heads should help you understand which god's blessings are there for example here one head is going towards mercury the other is going towards jupiter it indicates that you have this person will have positive effects from ganesh as well as from jupiter god or the uh, vishnu god uh, or the uh, sorry or the jupiter god so jupiter god and ganesh would help the person so hopefully you got few more points from this video i'm shwetank into palmistry do check my channel for more i also give personal readings i am also been doing a lot of events and if you want to be part of it please do message me on whatsapp on 8951568344 hopefully you enjoyed this session thank you take care have a brilliant day bye bye